Hello guys, uh, welcome to the continuation of this Python machine learning tutorial. Uh, we'll wrap up this perceptron machine learning algorithm in this tutorial. Uh, so, we in, uh, till last tutorial, we wrote the class for the perceptron uh, algorithm for classification. And then we extracted the data from the internet. Uh, so, since uh, the perceptron machine learning algorithm is a 2D classifier, so it can only classify uh, between two things. So if when you execute this code, so actually you could see this. All these things belong to Setosa data set and all these things belong to versicular data set. And then it's linearly, I mean, if you draw a linear line to separate this, so you could actually separate uh, the data set of uh, versicular uh, and Setosa. So it's, uh, the data set should be linearly separate, uh, separable. Then you could use that. And it's a 2D data set, you could use as a separate actually to classify only two different type of data set and so that's what we did for just for our training we only took uh, zeroth column and the second column from the data set and then we trained it using the class that we wrote and then we executed and then we predicted uh, the convergence uh, iteration, so uh, the how many times it iterates before it converges. And then we figured out it converges at the sixth attempt. Now uh, let's uh, uh, let's start predicting. So if you see here, we actually supplied the zeroth and the second data set. So you just go over here and then type um, print ppn dot just call the predict prediction class that we wrote and the prediction class that uh, takes uh, x data as an argument so if you print out the x values here print x save so it's cancel run so we actually took the zero so it must be printed so this is the x value that are feeding so if you look at the x value from here so it's actually z zero yeah so it's actually zero I mean, zero column and the third column. So zero and sec zero and second column. Zero, one, two. So we just took these two, this column and this column. Uh, uh, we trained our classifier. So and I and then we so now we know what all the values. So if you want to predict something, so we have to take uh, values from here and feed it. So let's take this value 5.0 and 1.4. We pass this as an array 5.0 comma 1.4. So if this prediction is true, it should, uh, if this, I mean, sorry, if this uh, thing predicts this as uh, Setosa, it will return minus 1. If it is something else, it will return 1. So save this. And run. Close and then close. So this is actually minus one. So we could see the condition. We define all iris seto as setosa as minus one and the rest as one. So if you go over and check, it's actually iris setosa. Okay, let's uh, check whether it's working fine. So we feed this data, five point seven and four point one. 5.7, 4.1. Save this and run. So th the current data doesn't belong to Setosa, so it returned as one. So it is not Setosa. So actually, you could you could also write an uh, if statement if this thing equals minus one print
Sa else print sla is not setosa save and run So the flower is not set also, which is true. You could actually test this algorithm with all these data set over here to cross check whether the classifier classifies it properly. And uh, a few things in the algorithm. So actually I made a YouTube tutorial on a perceptron algorithm using Excel sheet so you can understand better. The tutorial is uh, over here. You could watch, I'll put the link in the description. In this tutorial, I've actually discussed uh, how this uh, perceptron algorithm works on an Excel sheet. So, step by step mathematical solution. Uh, so, you could be get a better understanding of this algorithm. You watch this tutorial, I'll put the link in the description of this video. So, you get a better idea of what these codes does. I've actually commented over here explaining uh, what is eta. Eta is actually a re learning rate. N iter is the, the number of iteration, I mean, the Number of times you are training the algorithm, that's what n iteration is all about. And then uh, here you are declaring the weight matrix, so that's what actually uh, you are doing over here. And then error array, which uh, you, which you use to plot the graph, the error graph, uh, the convergence graph. And then uh, this thing is for prediction, and then uh, this one is for like uh, amending the weight. So it all goes, and then this is the actual perceptron equation, and then uh, here it makes prediction whether it's uh, here it actually classifies. So if it's if the data belongs to one, it classifies it as one. If not, it classifies it as minus one. So that's what this entire class is all about. And then here uh, we extracted the data from this link. I'll also post this link below, and then uh, we are taking y values. I mean, actually, whether it is set or not, if it is, uh, we are taking this one simply means from column 0 to 100, take the fourth from sorry, from row 0 to 100, take the fourth column, and then we are checking if the fourth column is iris set or make it minus one, if not, make it one. Here, we are, we are taking only first and th third data, first and third data, so that's actually 0 and 2. You could also take all the data. We just go over the press call. So it, it takes actually all from 0 to 100, all the rows, and then all the columns. If it has uh, one column, it will take only one. If it has 100 columns, it will take 100. In our case, we have five. So we don't, we should not take all the columns because uh, we also have the label column. So we have to take only uh, uh, first four. So how do we write that? So 0, 2, 3. Save this and print this out so that you could double check uh, whether you are grabbing proper columns. Yeah, you actually taken uh, 3 columns, 1, 2, 3. So we have to make some other modification of code so that uh, we get we don't get this error. So we will do that the same drill. So we just take it for so we are now taking all four columns, run this, close, close, so we have taken all four, so you will have uh, five uh, weight matrix, the last one is the bias, so which you could understand what bias is from this uh, video tutorial, so the, it's one of the factors that influence the prediction, so you watch this tutorial you get to understand almost everything about this concept and then uh, now the reason why we are getting error is simple so we are feeding only two data here so we feed few more so you just uh, you could also grab some random like comma 5 comma 10 comma, comma. 
save this and then right click run. So it should tell us it's not uh, Setosha and it should run without any error. So it, it's run without any error. Flower is not Setosha, we just because we just gave some random data. Now we are using actually all the data from the data set. So all four we are using. So now you go ahead and take this one. Oh, why well it's always. Yeah, 5.0, 3.3. My memory is so bad, I'll just copy this. Then paste. 5.0, 3.3. One point four zero point two save delete and then run. So it should tell us it's set also. So the flower is set also. And these weights are accurate in prediction. So it goes through ten iteration, it updates the weight and then uh, it predicts the flower using this weight. If you keep training it with lot of data, this weight will undergo changes. The your training influence. This is called training. You're actually training it to predict. So it's training training the system to uh, give weightage to the data that you're passing as input and uh, output it based on this weightage. And make a prediction based on this weightage. That's what our perceptron machine learning tutorial is all about. So you could write furthermore to like uh, visualize the data in all your way that you want. Uh, thanks for watching. In our next uh, video tutorial, we'll be seeing um, Adeline. Wait, wait, I'll open this up and I'll show you what's that we're going to see in our next tutorial. Uh, we're actually doing tutorials from this, uh, from this book. I have to go to page here. Yeah. Yeah, we Our next tutorial will be based on this one. Perceptron problem learning is what we saw. Then we'll discuss about adaptive linear neuron and the convergence of learning. So we'll discuss about this in the next uh, set of tutorials. See you guys in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. If you have any doubts, comment below. If not, uh, like and subscribe the video. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys in the next uh, tutorial. Thanks for watching.